Let's go on to this. This is a post courtesy of the Fire and the Kids subreddit. And it features the one and only Stavi Baby apologising for having to cancel his European tour. And I feel like this is incredibly, refreshingly, refreshingly, refreshingly um, honest from him. Maybe the, he doesn't actually need to tell anybody any of this level of detail. But considering how many of these comedians lie about selling out, lie about fucking the shows that they're doing, cancel last minute without explaining it to their fans, it's quite refreshing to have a comedian of Stavi's level just say, hey, I fucked up. I'm not going to be able to do it. Here's the reasons why. Kind of make a joke about it, but be aggressively um, fucking honest about it to the point where you're like, you know what? You can only respect the guy. So big up Stavi for sharing this. Um, and obviously the person was on, on the spot, like his subreddit for sharing this as well. Let's play Stavi apologizing to his fans for not doing a European tour, which is definitely something that Brendan Schaub didn't bloody do, did he? Let's play this. For people of London and Amsterdam, uh, I wanted to apologize for canceling the shows in September. I'm sure you got an email about it already, but I wanted to personally say I'm sorry for fucking you in the ass and betraying you, even though you are beloved to me. I honestly just fucked up my timing this summer, mismanaged my shit, I got busy as fuck. I was supposed to take it easy and prepare for this tour and really have my shit ready to launch in London and Amsterdam, but I'm just not ready. I haven't done stand up in months. I haven't worked on my act in months. And it would, the shows would have been pretty fucking dog shit. And I would have just basically been taking your money to finance a European vacation and I would feel bad about doing that. So it breaks my heart. I wanted to be there. I, I wanted to fucking have some fish and chips. Uh, fuck maybe one of those bitches that wears too much makeup, a chav or whatever the fuck they call them. I wanted to fucking get on a bike ride in Amsterdam up the canals, do some mushrooms maybe, check out some of the other industries in your city. And I've canceled that. I'm not going on the vacation anymore. I'm just trying to I'm taking the extra time off to prepare for the tour so I don't fuck that up too. So uh, I'm really sorry. I love you. Please find it in your hearts to forgive me. And I hope to launch a real European tour that I will not back out on uh, very soon. Stay tuned. I love you. I'm sorry again. Now, I personally think that was incredible. Like, you don't need to tell people that level of detail. As much as we rag on Brendan for not explaining why he cancelled his European tour, it's their business. Whatever they cancel, they cancel for, they cancel for. But I just think there's a certain level of respect that fans are owed, especially when you're fucking promoting these dates on your podcast ad nauseum to the point where I want to throw my phone out of the fucking window. If you're going to subject me to nonstop promotions, when you end up cancelling this promotion, explain why you did. You can at least do me that fucking solid. So the fact that Starvey went out of his way to explain why he did have to cancel and the fact that he's honest enough to say hey you know if you check his Instagram you check Burt Kreischer's shit he's been on tour with Burt he's been doing his own shows clearly he hasn't been doing much stand-up or if he has it's the same routine from before but he hasn't been performing much so he hasn't been writing much he hasn't been maybe tightening up his act for when he's going on tour so it makes no surprise that he says hey I haven't really been doing much stand-up I've been hanging out doing whatever I've been doing doing a few sets here and there with my friends but it's not like you know the responsibility you know that would be on him if he does his own tour where he needs to basically bring his A game for his fans and shit and not just kind of you know go through the motions so i respect that from him a lot but the thing i'm trying to ask on this is just like why is this so hard for some of these comedians to do and something maybe needs to be done maybe like a, a two days to try maybe needs to make a video on it on like what is this kind of grip why does ticket sales have such a grip on comedians self-worth on that their value as a person like they legitimately take it so weird like when they're not able to do a show to the point where i think a lot of them just feel embarrassed and they don't want to admit that they have to cancel a show because it makes them feel less than it makes them feel less than a man less of a performer like they're failures like it's not a failure to not able to sell out a european tour do you know how difficult it is to sell out multiple tours across europe Europe's a big place. Even the UK is a fucking big place. To sell out these random venues, being a foreign act, you know, in a fucking, you know, foreign fucking market 
is not easy. 2,000 tickets, multiple dates is not the most easy thing to do. So if you can't do it, it doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means maybe you have to kind of make sure that you kind of get on local circuits, whatever it may be, and promote yourself, mark yourself in a better way, blah, 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 blah. But it's not like a failure. It doesn't make you look bad. It kind of is just the nature of the beast because selling tickets, regardless if you're selling tickets to a fucking car boot sale or you're selling tickets to a fucking free county fair in a church, it's just difficult to get people to come to your fucking event in the first place. Pause, not pause pause so i don't understand why a lot of these guys just can't be honest and say hey i fucked up the tour didn't get promoted well enough i couldn't sell enough tickets to fill the dates we're gonna try some smaller dates try some sorry smaller venues we're gonna try maybe a lot such a longer run and try and come back around the next time around that basically yeah, and basically say hey for the people that i did fuck up and flop their fucking you know evening out when i come back next time remind me and you can get the front of the queue for a meet and greet you don't have to pay something just something man but just completely going silent on it completely going mute pretending like it didn't happen as brendan did and not addressing it is so fucking bizarre lying about it is so bizarre using your kids as a human meat shield and basically saying oh i'm taking the summer off to go and practice baseball with my kid it's fucking bizarre and i don't understand it these guys need to grow up it's not that big of a deal do what starvey did explain it and just kind of go on when you go on but again what do i know i don't know much i'm just a fucking young man in london talking out of the side of my fucking arsehole you know what i mean you know what i mean